Hi Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. Someone recently asked me in the comments how you can set a background image for Astra headers in Astra theme options. I'm talking about the free Astra version. So in background theme options, you obviously can set different colors for your header. But this user asked me about a image as a background. Obviously you can set an image as a background and also a PNG or a gradient or even SVG as a background. In this video, I'll show you how to exactly do that all by using the free Astra theme and a little bit of CSS. So let's get into it. Make sure you have Astra installed and activated on your website. Now under appearance, click on customize. That will take you to a place where you can enter your custom CSS. So here, just click on additional CSS and here we'll enter the code required for the custom background. I have the transparent Astra header turned on with the free version of Astra theme. So the first thing you need to do is to target the header. So header in Astra has a class of site header. So you target it by saying dot site header. And here you just put the code required to display that particular image or a gradient. Let's start with the gradient. So I'll say gra background. Now I'll say linear gradient. I've already explained this a lot of times. Just specify an angle followed by DEG which stands for degrees, the angle at which the gradient should be applied. And then enter as many colors as you want. So red and blue. Just like that, I have a gradient background for my Astra header. As you can see now, you can also disable the transparent header. It doesn't matter. You're controlling everything through custom CSS. So it doesn't matter what you have turned on in the Astra theme options. So just like that, when you enter background, linear gradient, the angle followed by DEG, which stands for degrees, and then all the colors. You can also add another color in here. So you can have a three color gradient. You can find subtle gradient combinations online. There are sites such as gradient.io and so on. So you can find some subtle gradients. Anyway, and we want the menu items to have a proper color. So we'll also change that using CSS. Again, I'll say site header and the menu items are unordered lists. And within that, they're basically links. So I'll just say color and uh, let's go with white. I think that would be better. Let's add important. And just like that, the colors of the links are changed. You can also target links in another way. You can also target them by the class names. So I'll just right click on this, inspect the menu item in the Astra header and they have a class of menu item. And within menu items, these are basically links, right? So you add another space, just say A. So A stands for links. A href is all the links and attributes and stuff like that. And now you can say color, let's change it to red. And just like that, those links are affected as you can see here. Either way, you can either use this or simply say UL. If you target it using the tag name, you might have to add important. If you target it using the class name, you don't even have to add important, it just works. So I'll target it using class name again. Even if I remove important, it still works because the code is accurately targeting these particular links. So now that we've customized the links color and we've added a background for our site header. What about adding a background image? Well, the background image syntax or the format in which you have to enter background is this. So just go to Mozilla Docs. I'll leave a link to this. And here, this is how you should add background image. So you first specify background color because just in case the image fails to load, the background color will be displayed to the user. Then you say position, either 50%, 50% and all that. You say repeat style, click repeat X, repeat Y, or simply say repeat. And you can also say background size. And you can click on each of these links to find values for each of them. There are a lot of values for that. So for background size, you can say contain, cover and all that stuff. There are a lot of values over here. As you can see here, contain, cover. You can also specify percentage for background size. So I'll just enter uh, the background in this format. So color, image, position, repeat and size. I'll go to customize again. I'll remove the linear gradient or you can simply leave it as is. We will say uh, a color, we'll specify a color for it blue and then now the image is url and within these braces within single quotes you need to paste the url of the image that you want to have as a background that's how it works so just go to your media library and my media library from my library maybe this one or let's actually get this one so this is the link i'll copy this and within the single quotes after url braces and single quotes don't worry i'll shave share this link in the description just paste the url and just like that the image is shown there so that's how you set a background image as a background for your astra header after url again what are the you can see position you can also see different values for 
position just click on that so top center left even in percentages let's go with percentage i'll just say 20 percent and 20 percent always follow mozilla docs because they're more accurate after position you have repeat style i'll just say repeat so by following the pattern shown in the mozilla docs so color image position repeat style and also an optional size if you want i'll just stop here and this is the background it can be any image from your media library or from image sharing services if they allow you to display their images just with urls you can copy their images as well you can also take this image instead of this as you can see if i paste that i'll say cover and what's even cool about this is that you can also set svgs as background images and svgs don't take space on your um, servers because they're vector models similar to the illustrators vector model SVGs don't take up space so you can take any SVG I have a sample SVG icon or maybe I'll just take this one you can copy the link of SVG and use it as a background as well so within this and SVGs are supported in Elementor natively and even in Astro theme so you can use tiny SVGs to repeat long X or maybe a long Y or just say repeat it repeats in all directions let's add a color to our links and just like that you can add any color if you want red try red the list goes on and on so the possibilities are endless all you need to say is background first a color url and then its position and then specify the repeat mode and you just have background as a background for your astra headers you can also use linear gradient which i showed you earlier i'll comment that out i'll just leave this code you customize this so here i'll just replace it with path when i share it with you in the youtube description so just replace path with the link of your media file linear gradients again change the values based on your requirements and even link colors change based on your requirements and that's it that's how it works that's how you set background images such as pngs svgs jpegs whatever you want as your header backgrounds in astra theme so you can have cool headers such as this one you can use any svg here just replace this with your own svg image you can have cool headers like this and make different patterns if you have blobs you can use blobmaker.app to generate blobs and download them as svgs and then upload them and use them as backgrounds for your headers this applies for footer as well you just name the class name and then use blobs or svgs as backgrounds for them i'll maybe make a video about that but the method is the same you just follow the syntax that's how it works talk to you real soon peace